Antarctica breakthrough, another discovery. Scientists make an amazing 14 million year old discovery. Callum Hoare of Express UK reports. The Antarctica scientists made an amazing discovery dating back 14 million years. And in this way, they're filling in what has already been a blank page in Antarctica's history. Concerning the icy continent's history, this is what their documentary reveals. Antarctica is of great interest because it is totally unspoiled. Its landscape they can study and the effects of the climate change. Since 2006, researchers from Germany, Italy, New Zealand and the US have been drilling through the ice, the water and the rock to recover core samples in the program known as the Antarctic Drilling Project, ANDRIL for short. So this team made some amazing discoveries, including a spectacular fossil that exposed the history of this frozen desert. But it was revealed during NOVA's The Secrets of Antarctica series, how one finds one find tops the rest. This is what the narrator, the narrator said from the 2015 documentary. Hidden inside these cores are shells of microscopic algae called the diatoms. If you uh, listen to the documentary concerning the Earth's atmosphere and oxygen, concerning with Will Smith concerning uh, how our ozone and our uh, atmosphere is made, he says, "Take two breaths. One of those two, one of the two breaths is because of the oxygen in the air that is supplied to us from diatoms." not from the Amazon jungle or whatever, but from diatoms. Amazing. So they're even found in Australia, in, uh, in Antarctica. I must wish, I probably, but that's a Freudian slip, I probably wish I were in Australia, I don't know. Now, it's, I've never been there, but it looks to be a beautiful place. Now, for Andrew, climate detectives, these tiny diatoms create a highly revealing picture of the past because not all diatoms are alike. The uh, Andrial team again examined core from around 15 million years ago. They find some smooth green sands, green sands containing diatoms that thrived in relatively warm water, confirming that this was a time before Antarctica finally froze over. The series went on to explain how this team managed to pinpoint the exact moment when Antarctica's climate tipped and changed. He said, the narrator said, the picture is beginning to form of a long period of transition starting 34 million years ago when a cooling climate led to the formation of ice. He explains, this is a very well-defined warm period, iceberg-free water, but even so, conditions remained relatively mild. When did Antarctica finally slip into this deep freeze that it's in today? The answer lies in cores from around 15, uh, sorry, 14 million years ago. Instead of smooth and green, these cores are rocky and gray, and some contain diatoms that thrived in cold glacial waters. This discovery, the amazing discovery, reveals a rapid change from cool to frozen, it fills in what has always been a blank page in Antarctica's climate history. It's not the last amazing find uncovered during the show. During the same series, a 15 million year old discovery was also uncovered after digging 440 meters below the ice. What the documentary explains is they recovered a 12 foot long core wrapped it in protective covering before workers carefully carried it back to the lab to be examined. And when they, they crack it open, it's in perfect condition. The mud, they said, the mud and rock is more valuable than gold because each core is a time machine. We're currently down to the depth of body, 440 meters. That's about a quarter mile down, corresponding to a time at least 15 million years ago when Antarctica was still a warm continent. As the cores are recovered, each section is sliced lengthwise, x-rayed and scanned in labs, 
at the drill site and back at McMurdo Station. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.